I hope this is going to work. She wants to focus on the future, but Liz Truss's past pronouncements have left some in Scotland with a sour taste. Do you think your comments about Nicola Sturgeon being an attention seeker have alienated voters? And if, if you do win this leadership race, will you be able to ignore her? Well, I'm absolutely passionate about Scotland and the United Kingdom. I grew up in Paisley. Uh, I've spent my primary school years there. And what I want is to deliver for the people of Scotland. And that's what I'm focused on. Is ignoring Nicola Sturgeon a sensible strategy? No, I don't want to ignore Nicola Sturgeon. I want to take her on and beat her. And I think we can make a very strong case for what the UK government does to help people in Scotland. The First Minister will soon face her fourth Prime Minister. Relations with the third were strained at best. Nicola Sturgeon believes her country is on a journey to independence. She wants a second referendum next year. But for some, that feels distant compared to the current energy crisis. Many here feeling the pinch seem unconvinced Truss or Sunak are well equipped to help. Rishi Sunak, who is partially responsible for the cost of living crisis, and then a Maggie Thatcher wannabe, couldn't care less who wins out the two of them. They're both terrible. For others, anyone's got to be better than the last. Boris was absolutely the pits. I'm sorry, no, I wanted him out. So one of these two will be an improvement then, maybe? Maybe a slight improvement on the name, but not on their, their policies, I don't think. Nicola Sturgeon is never going to be close friends with the Prime Minister, but if it is Liz Truss who enters number 10, relations between Westminster and Edinburgh could be fiery. And whilst trading barbs is pretty popular with party members on each side, some senior Conservatives here worry that sort of behaviour feeds a narrative which damages the union. For the Tory Scottish leader who phoned up Boris Johnson to tell him to resign... Industrial language was used uh, during the conversation. From him or from you? Uh, from him. The priority is keeping the party and country united. While we continue to face major challenges individually and uh, you know, collectively here in Scotland, the last thing people want to see is more distraction, more resources being put into campaigning to divide Scotland all over again. The people united will never be defeated. As independent supporters protested at the front of the hustings, yes, really the, the candidates arrived out back. Whoever wins this race, Westminster is unlikely to change its approach to the union. But that doesn't mean the next Prime Minister won't damage it. Joe Pike, Sky News, Perth.